Hi there, this is Art and Such with a Rainbow Loom tutorial for Candice from Phineas and Ferb by request. And we're going to make exactly what you see here. So you're going to need two large white pony beads, a black permanent marker for the pupils, a number of bands of a pale, pale or pink skin tone, pink or red for the shirt, a couple of reds for the belt and the shoes, some white bands and orange for the hair. We're going to start with the arms and the legs. I'm going to make one of each with you and get you to pause to make the other, the matching set for each. So for our arms, you'll be taking a single skin tone band, wrapping it three times around your hook, and we pull it onto a doubled over a single skin tone. And we're going to put it on a total of 10 skin tone bands. So that was one. Here's another doubled over skin tone. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. You can leave this on your hook or put it onto another hook, and I'll get you to pause and make your second arm. For our legs, we're going to start with the shoes and work our way up. So we need a white, uh, white band wrapped three to four times onto the hook. We're going to pull that onto a doubled over single white, but we won't be replacing the other end just yet. Slide it down a little bit. I'm going to switch hands so that I have, sorry, the arm's in the way there. Um, I have part of that white on my left hand middle finger, and then I'm pinching the hook here so that we keep a little tension. Take a red band, wrap it over the top, one, two, three, four, put your other end back around, so now the red is sitting in the middle, and we're going to pull these all onto a doubled over single white, and try and keep them in order if you can. So bring your whites over, bring your reds over, this is a little tight, and bring your whites over again, put the end back through, pull it onto a doubled over white. onto a doubled over red and then we're going back to skin tone and our legs are going to be the same length as the arms so we need 10 doubled over single skin tones again we're going to do just what we did with the arms there so here's one I won't count it for you this time try and do it quietly here okay. we're going to need 10 though all together Three more. Oops. Let's try that again. And don't worry that it's curling right now because we're gonna um, pinch the legs together at the end to make them look straight. Okay, once again, you can make your second leg, and this can stay on this hook or go onto a side hook if it's easier for you. Come over to your loom. We're going to work on the body, and then we'll be adding that onto the neck, and then we'll make our head. We have middle of our loom just above the other two rows. And we're going to come down with a doubled over single skin tone from the top center peg to the second peg in the center. 
so this one's nice and tight. It's the start of the neck. From there, we get our pink or our red. The color's up to you. You're taking double bands coming from the second center to the second right, and double bands from the second center to the second left. We're going to come down five times in the middle with double bands of your shirt color. And also in your shirt color, we're going to come down the side and we're going to end it at the peg just below. So that's five sets again. Double bands. this on the right side. That's five sets again of double pink bands, shirt colored bands. You can take your arms and add them on the top center, uh, sorry, second peg on the right side and the second peg down on the left side. I'm just going to transfer this back to my original hook here. So we're going to slip that on onto that first pink and get a hold of your other arm. This goes onto the right side. Okay, we're going to switch to, oh, first we're going to put down a couple of reds. We're going to take a single red go to that seventh peg down on the side, twist it twice over the pink band that is there. And we're doing that again on the right side, twist it twice, and then in the middle, and we're gonna be using this for our belts. This is the red that shows up in the middle of her body there. Now take a white band, and we're gonna do this sort of in a funny order, but it works well this way. We're going to take our white and bring it over these three in triangle formation. We'll do one more step here first, actually. Okay, lift that off one second. We're going to put the next two whites on top of that middle one coming down. And then we'll put our triangle on. Now. And we need two more sets of double white bands in the center. Come down two more times. And on either side, we're going to come down three times with double white bands. And we want to keep this on top of the red bands if we can. So push that down a little bit. And from here, oh, we need one more set on the side, I believe. One, two, three. So there are three. Just missed one there. Let's add our side extensions. And that's what's going to give the little puff to the skirt. So for that, we take two white bands. Two. Uh, one white band. One white band, wrap it three times. And we're going to pull it onto three sets of just double bands. So two bands of white, bring it over, replace. Again, bring it over, replace. And one more time. We're going to take the bands that are on the hook and bring those onto your sixth peg from the bottom of the loom. It's the second peg that has the white on it if you're looking downwards. And we are not going to take the cat band, but we are going to stretch this out and find one piece out of the next chain underneath. Pull it onto the peg below. And then 
look at the chain below that, pull a piece of that over. And this little piece is going to stick out the side. It looks funny, but that's where we want it to be right now. We're going to make one for the other side. Single wrap it three times. Pull it on to two bands. Another two bands. And two more bands. Again, take the bands that are on the hook and put them on that third peg up from, from the bottom of the whites. I'll just turn my loom around here. We take one piece out of the next chain, stretch it out and get one piece out of that last chain and bring it over that bottommost one. We are going to add our legs next. So take a single white band, double it over, slide it through one of your legs, carefully, and we aren't putting the other end on. What we're going to do is take one side and put it on the last peg that we used with the white, and then put the other one onto the center. So those are, that's your fourth peg up on the side and your fourth peg up on the center. Just sort of tuck it out of the way there. We're going to do this for our other leg. Single white, doubled over, and pull your leg on top. Bring this from. I'm going to try and get it so that my leg is curling out, although we can play around with that a little at the end too. And bring that over from the on the fourth peg from the bottom on the left to the fourth peg from the bottom in the middle. Let's put a little cap band, take a white single, push down those bands in that center, fourth from the bottom, loop it about three times. We're ready to put our holding bands on and we're going to take our time with this so we make sure we get them all right. Our top one is going to be the color of the shirt and it's going to be a doubled over single band. We're bringing it from the third peg on the side to the third peg on the side and over the third peg in the center in a triangle formation. And it'll be a little bit tight there, that's good. Take another one and do the same thing from the fourth to the fourth, so a triangle just below. Now our next one is going to be brought across as a single, twisted back and brought back around this right one. So I'll show you again. We bring it across as a single, give it a twist, and put it just over that first piece. And the reason we're doing it from tight to loose is so that we get that kind of tapered effect there. Our next one is just gonna be a single, a single triangle stretched across. And this was our white triangle we have in place. We're going to do another white triangle just across as a single. And our next one is a single triangle stretched across. We are ready to loop up the body. So get your hook. We'll start in the middle. You're going to go under the cap band and you're going to find the doubled over band that's holding the leg. Pull it up and through. You might want to hold down your other pieces as you pull it over. Go for the next leg. In my case, it's going to the right. We're going to get those two bands, scoop them up, bring them over and onto the right side. And then we can loop up in the center. I'm going to loop up until I reach the third or the yeah the third peg from the top, and we'll stop there so that we can finish with our our center piece at the end. Oh, before you go further, now watch. This is where we put the belt on. You've looped up your white three times. You're going to take your hook, go underneath the white, grab the red, and pull it over all of those pieces. And now we can keep looping. 
We'll do the same on the side pieces. I'll show you again when we get there. I'm just going to stop it here, but we have to remember to get that when we get to the end. Let's go in under on the side and we're going to find the bottom two bands. They're coming from the peg above. We push back the extension and the leg attachment piece and we just get those bottom two. Go inside again, get your next bottom two. And we're looping straight up, but we're going to stop for our belt again. This will be easier to see because it's on the side. We've looped our white over. We get our hook underneath. We grab our red belt section. And we're going to do this a couple pieces at a time, I think. We're going to pull it up and over. Oh, it did all work. So we have two. Push back your triangle loop to that second peg from the top and then we'll be looping inwards and going to the next side. Okay, find the two diagonal pieces. They're underneath your arm. And to the bottom of the next the next leg. Get your bottom two bands, loop them up and over. Bottom two only, up and over. Stop when you finish the white because we're going to grab our last red pieces and pull them around like so. And continue going to the top here. I think, um, I, think I saw that belt technique first used on some of the superhero tutorials by Kate Schultz, but I'm not too, too sure where they, where they originated from with any certainty here. Okay, grab the last two and bring it over. And I saved that center piece, so I'll come back here. Make sure we grab that and loop up. And loop up your doubled over skin band. It's gonna be really tight. Check that everything is in place and we can take it off the loom. Hold on to the bands on your top peg there. So you're gonna come onto our hook in just a minute. I'm using the back of my hook here to pop these off. Saves it from a little bit of extra stretchage. Okay, give everything an adjustment. Don't worry about the legs. We'll fix those at the end. And we're going to make her neck which has six doubled over bands on it in total. So we're gonna add five doubled over skin tones. Here's one. Put it on the hook, pull the bottom part of your neck over. And two. If it's easier for you, you can, I'll show you the other way also is a way for you to add it at the bottom of the, of the face. But figure while it's on the hook here, I might as well do this but I can show you the alternate way as well. Three, four, and five. Okay, let's come back to our loom and you're gonna get an orange for the hair. Take two orange bands and come down from the top left to the second on the left. We're going to give her that kind of diagonally, diagonally shaped hair, if that makes sense. Come down three more times on the left side. Now we're going to go from the second on the left to the third in the middle so that it's coming down again diagonally and come down one more time to the third right. We go down two times with double bounds in the middle from the third to the fourth and then from the fourth to the fifth. And two times on the right side 
from the third to the fourth, and the fourth to the fifth. From here, we can switch to our skin tone bands and come down three times in the middle, fifth to the sixth, sixth to the seventh, and from the seventh to the eighth. On our left side, we come down, actually on both sides, we're going to come down with double skin tones, but start with the right because we're going to add a hair chain on the left before we put our skin. For our left hand hair chain, we need a single, uh, sorry, two bands wrapped three times. Hold on to two bands and this is going to go on to eight doubled over bands. This is all in the hair color so take a single, double it over. If your body's in the way here you can tag it on on the bottom of the loom or switch it to another hook. Take another single and we're going to do six more. Total eight. Gonna do a double count there. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this will be going on to the fifth peg down on the left side. At this point, we can take our skin tone again and come down two more times on the left, going from the 5th peg to the 6th peg, and again from the 6th peg to the 7th. And we're going to do a hair chain for the left. It's going to start so that it's sort of on the side of the face. If you want it to be really symmetrical, you can make both sides the same and just replicate this here. But I'm going to put my second chain on the bottom of the right side. And this one starts the same with two bands wrapped three times. Pulled on to two bands. But because we're starting it a little, little bit lower, we only need six doubled over singles this time. I'm going to put this onto my seventh peg down on the side where the skin tone ends. As I said, if you want your sides to be the same, then you can do an, uh, an eight band chain and place that here as well. We're going to take two skin tone bands and come from that bottom center one to the piece where we just put our, the peg where we just put our last chain there. And we're going to come in from the opposite side with two. This is your seventh peg on the left to your eighth peg in the middle. We'll be placing our, our neck on in just a minute, but first let's get some holding bands and get everything ready. We need a single band from your fourth peg on the side to your fourth peg raised above the fourth. We're going to take a single hair color, double it over, and make a triangle on the second and third pegs on the side and going over the third peg in the middle. Underneath this, we're going to put two skin tone sorry, two hair tone bands going from your fifth sides to your fifth fifth center, fifth middle pegs. I'm going to push it down a little bit more. is going to round the hair out a little bit. You don't really have to have this part and if you're trying to save bands you can skip it but 
I think it I think it looks nice that way. We're gonna use a single skin tone band from your seventh peg to your seventh peg over your seventh center. And just on top of that, we have one more single band stretched across. Now for the eyes, I'm using pony beads. You can use just white bands wrapped if you'd like, or white with a black. L uh, let's put our body on and then I'll show you and we'll have our hook free here. Our neck is going on to that eighth peg down where all the other pieces converge at the bottom there. Now for the eyes, as I said, I'm using the beads with large pony beads here. And I can thread them just from my hook. I'm going to take a single skin tone and put my eye on top and we are going to put one piece of it on okay let's have a good look here on your fifth peg down on the side and we're going to put the next one onto your seventh peg down and we're going to stretch it over the middle piece get your hook on top of the eye and stretch it over the sixth peg down in the middle. Oh, and this is what we want, yes. So it's kind of a little butterfly pattern here, a little bow tie. We've used the fifth one, we skipped one, and then we stretched it out over those two center in between ones. And it's the same deal for the other eye. We're almost done here, we're doing, making good time here. We go from the fifth down to the seventh, stretch it over the middle, stretch it over the middle. And get them a little bit apart if you can, if you want to. Okay, we are all ready to loop. Let me just double check that one one more time. Okay, I think we're good. So we go underneath the neck, Get your top two bands and bring them to the right side. Next two bands, bring them up, over, and to the left. Loop up the center and come up three times. Watch out for all these bands. You just want the bottom two and you're going to try and get them in between the eyes. Get your next two, bring them up. Now we're going to take these yellow bands, oh sorry, orange bands, hair color bands. Come inside, get your bottom two, bring them outwards. Next two, bring them outwards. And we can loop up the middle, the rest of the middle row. Just two more times. Go in on the side, get your bottom two bands. Loop them up and over, push back the eye bands. We're looping straight, but we're only grabbing the bottom two bands of each set. Come up one more time. Don't do that last one just yet because that's going to hold everything together. Go in on the right side, get your bottom two. I think this one's going to be more of a challenge here. There. Next two and loop straight upwards. We have two more sets to loop this way. So come from the third right to the third center. Third center, find those bottom two. Bring them back to where they came from on the left. And you're gonna reach in, get your last two bottom bands, loop them up and over. And secure it by bringing your hook through, grabbing a hair colored band, bringing it up, over, and pulling one side over the other to create a slip knot. We can take this off. Okay, you can grab any loose bands and tighten them, pop your eyes through a little bit. I'm gonna hide my securing band in the back. So I'll pull it under 
some of the other bands that I see here. And when you're ready, you can put this onto a seat clip. I'll be with you in just, just, just a minute. I see I've got a bit of a loose band near my neck. It's stretched out a little, so I'm going to come down and weave that in. Okay, onto the C-clip. Now she looks a little bit funny. You're going to have to pop the eyes in just a bit. Get your black marker. And you can draw your pupils wherever you want them. I'm going to keep mine on the left side. Try and make them as even as you can. You can make them large or small, whichever. You can give her eyelids if you want. And we're going to find the hair on the side. Um, okay. And pop it through if it's underneath any of your skin bands. We are going to take our really skinny hook and we're going to turn the head around. We're going to line up the hair to the neck. Put your hook through a piece of the hair from the back, through the neck from the back, and through the hair on the other side. Take a hair colored band or a clear, pull it through all of those, bring the other end over, and this can go on a C-clip. You can actually, if you want, cinch this up in a couple of places. If you want to do the same thing a little bit higher, I think we'll give that a try. We're going to do that again. This mine's really lo loose looking here. I'm going to go through the hair again, through the neck again, through the hair again. And bring that clear band or hair color band through. And that holds it together nice and, nice and even. You don't want it too, too tight though, but... You get the idea there. And we're gonna do the same thing for the legs. There's There are two ways that you can get the legs to hold straight. One is to take a band, and the jellies work really well, and you can wrap it around it a number of times and then let it sit overnight. It'll kind of conform to that shape. And the other thing we can do, which is what I did on my first and which I'll do again here, is turn it to the back go towards the ankles and come through one leg through the other leg only on the back side again grab a skin tone or a clear band pull it through bring one end over the other and weave it in to put it on a c-clip so you want this to actually sit go through a couple of bands but we'll just place it here for now so you can see Give the arms a stretch, give everything a tug, and there is your Candace. Thank you for watching, stay tuned.